Hello, map game enjoyers. It's me, Strategy Games Tripoli here, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 A to Z, the series where I slowly lose my mind while playing every interesting nation in Victoria 2 from A to Z. It has been a long run, and finally, we have come to a place where I messed up. I messed up really bad. Okay, so basically, when I made the list for Victoria 2 A to Z, I forgot how to, like, do the alphabet, so for whatever reason, uh, I put Morocco after the Mughal Empire, but actually, the Mughal Empire is after Morocco. So, I feel just about as literate as Morocco right now, 1%, because clearly, I can't even alphabetize 60 items without losing my mind. Anyway, Morocco is actually a nation I've been looking forward to for a long time. Yes, we start as a non-Western nation, but that doesn't matter that much. We're still gonna have a great game. We're still gonna be very successful. See, we start the game allied with Algeria, but, you know... In, in real terms, we're not going to be friends with Algeria. Instead, we're going to, you know, do some war. There is not a problem in Victoria 2 that I haven't been able to solve by military action. So, today will not be a day that we have a problem. Alright, we're going to abide by my three-step plan. Step one, teach the people how to read. Step two, get the people to research stuff. Step four, conquer the Maghreb, do crazy things, beat up literally everybody. That's my three-step plan. We're sticking to it. Dude, what a plot twist. Algeria declared war on me even though I was going to declare war on them. What? Algeria, you're crazy, dude. Shall we help the Algerians? No. No way. <laughs> Algerians are at war with me. Why would I help them? Not every day we almost double in size within the first year of the game. But in this case, I'm happy with what we've done. We look much better. This is gonna be a bit of a long game though. Now that I've satisfied my need to conquer, we're just gonna chill a little bit, you know? Relax, take a load off, pass some reforms slowly because we're not making any research points. That being said, Algeria knows how strong Morocco is. Now I just gotta teach the rest of the world. You will learn, France. You will learn, Spain. So it looks like the French are gonna try and invade again. I think they were repelled at the beginning of the game, but they've snapped back to a... Uh, their war ways. We're gonna actually side with the Algerians here and maybe fight the French. Although it didn't call me into the war directly, so it looks like Algeria's gone. Everybody say goodbye, Algeria. I'm gonna annex as many of these small states as I possibly can just because I get research points for them. So it's it's just free stuff, and I want it. Looks like Algeria is just completely gone, though. That sucks. I'm not happy about that. You know, I feel like I should give an update. Nothing is happening. We're just waiting to westernize. It's a little sad. I don't know what the heck is happening between France and Spain, but whatever it is, I think it's lagging the game. They're at war, and for some reason, they just keep clicking each other's decisions over and over and over again. This is a weird bug. Anyway, let's get some four universities up in here and also we can go to decisions and find oh man what the heck is this just a bunch of random decisions where is it ah uh, yes let's change our national value to productivity why not i always go with productivity i'm so basic i think i'm gonna start taking out some nations in west africa just for the fun of it and for some extra research points there shouldn't be anything bad that comes of this i'm honestly surprised any of my troops survived a walk through western Sahara. Sahara. Lesser men would have died. Mmm, yes, how beautiful. The Moroccan West Africa colony. And it grows every day. That gave me a surprising amount of research points. So, uh, reformed education system. We're gonna westernize really quickly now. Uh, okay, this is actual gameplay footage. This is not a still or anything like that. The game is actually running at less than a day a minute. Alright, I've permanently fixed the economy, I think by taking this piece of molly with the precious metal. It might cause so much inflation that uh, you could call it 2022, but at least we'll be as rich as uh, that one molly leader. Also, we can westernize now. Land reform, okay, and then we can click the westernize button. All right, now that we're westernized, it's time to industrialize. What kind of RGOs do you have? Uh, fish, wheat, fish, cotton. Oh no, those are terrible RGOs. All right, we've allied the Spanish. I don't know what they'll be able to help me with, to be completely honest, but I'm excited for this partnership. Whoa, the Heavenly Kingdom has reigned victorious within China. That is not something you see every day. 
Okay, now that we're westernized, I don't really know what to do next. We're gonna have to find something fun to do. Oh, it looks like GFM has given us a great gift where we can unite the Maghreb. So basically we need all Morocco's core provinces, all of Tunis, Tripoli, Darna, what? Algeria, and then we can form the Maghreb. So what you're telling me is basically we have to go to war with like eight great powers and uh, have some serious wars. Um, I don't know if that's a possibility game. That seems very difficult. All right, we got great power. Now we're gonna create a large military and then we'll see what we can do to unite the Maghreb. Okay, I'm tired of just sitting around waiting for my research points to go up. We're declaring war on Spain to liberate all my cores. Basically, this shouldn't be a problem at all. I can't imagine Spain will do that much that will actually, you know, kill me. Looks like Spain has not been doing their military tech. Uh, I can't really blame them, but I do. It, it's This is all their fault. I call this the reverse reconquista. We have gotten Granada back, and we also got our cores back. Beautiful, even though we took a little bit too much. So now the Ottomans are engaged in the War of Ottoman Control over Tunis. However, I can join this war on the side of Tunis and beat up the Ottomans a little, and uh, then I will get to keep Tunis for myself, or at least within my spear, which fulfills the requirement to form the Maghreb. Luckily for me, the Ottomans have done basically zero uh, technology in the military department, so easy win, as always. Easy dub over the Ottomans, there we go. We get to keep Tunis now within our spear. Okay, I think it's time for a real challenge against the French. The French have 13 military techs, I have 14 military techs, so this won't be easy. We're going to declare war on them to liberate and puppet a country. The country we're going to pick is, of course, Algeria. So this territory in Senegal is named St. Louis. But uh, there is another St. Louis over here. So what gives? Why would you name the same name to two places? I love this strategy. Basically, you just ally Spain, get military access, move your troops into southern France, and then let the French troops ram against you in the mountains until eventually you eliminate all of their brigades. You can siege down enough territory to get the peace offer to go through. I kid you not, we've killed like 80 French brigades and now we just have free reign over southern France. Love that. The Moroccan Siege of Paris. What a plot twist. Never would have seen this coming. But France, you have done this to yourself. And that's what really hurts. There we go. France will give me Senegal. It will allow me to spear their currently speared member of Algeria. And it will release Algeria and make it a puppet of me. There we go. Our new puppet is Algeria. There we go. We look awesome now. Actually, we look basically the exact same. We also took the uh, St. Louis in Africa. So that's mine now. And uh, makes our colony look much better. Why are we getting the events to integrate Bahrain and Qatar? What? I think I just did some geopolitical stuff over here that I'm not exactly sure of. Okay, so this might be the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me in Victoria 2. And it's a little bit scary. I have no idea what I did, but somehow I puppeted every single nation that isn't a great power. Russian Empire, Dominion of Morocco, Ottoman Empire, Dominion of Morocco. What in the world is going on? Satellite of Morocco, the Heavenly Kingdom. What did I do? Look, I know I'm good at Victoria 2, but I am not that good. So uh, just to keep the continuity of the game, I loaded up an autosave and we now have done things correctly. Wait, it, it happened again. So I guess the problem then is in one of the war goals I added, maybe it's the release nation and satellite war goal. Oh man, look at all those nations that are in my sphere of influence. Whatever just happened, the only thing that should be my satellite is Algeria. Everything else should be independent still, but for some reason I just speared all of it, even Sardinia. So I guess I'm gonna have to go through the vassal interactions and release every single country that is currently my puppet, like all 500 countries in the game right now. I have half a mind to make you all sit here and watch me release my nations one by one, but 
I don't want to do that to you. This is literally gonna take hours. No way, that just happened. I just released Algeria. I'm literally gonna cry. Anger. Ugh. The only nation I actually needed is the only nation that I... Oh, man. This is actually the saddest moment in any map game I've ever played. I'm, I'm rage quitting. I'm so mad. So after my little rage quit, I took a break. I left Victoria 2 alone for a couple days. We're back now. Basically, it seems like this won't actually be that much of an issue. Because as well as puppeting everything, I also speared everything somehow. So basically, I still have um, Algeria speared, so I should still be able to form the Maghreb. That being said, I still have to release all these vassals. It's, this sucks. I think I've gotten rid of all my puppets, but everything is still speared. Um, I guess that's just the way it's gonna have to be. The game really bugged out. The nice thing about having legitimately everything speared is that we can go here and we can click Unite the Maghreb now, uh, if I can find it. Yes, here it is, Unite the Maghreb. Basically, that annexes a bunch of territory and forms the Maghreb. It looks like I also have cores on all of Libya. The problem is, for some reason it didn't give it to me when I uh, added it to my spear and then clicked the form Maghreb button. So I'm gonna have to go to war with the Ottoman Empire now. I'm so happy. Things kind of worked out in the end and that uh, is all that matters. Okay, I've kicked the Ottomans out of my spear of influence. Now I will declare war on them to get my cores back. I'm pretty salty that uh, they did not do what I wanted when they uh, kept Libya for themselves. Ottoman Empire is a dying empire. The new empire in the Mediterranean is the Maghreb. We just took a bunch of territory in Libya. Sweet. It seems that I have inadvertently defended the entirety of West Africa here because they're all in my sphere somehow and nobody has bothered to sphere them themselves. Russia's in my sphere and uh, I can create the Baltic states for that reason. Just because this happened to me when I was Poland in my Poland video, I'm gonna do it to you too, Russia. Not a whole lot to do at this stage in the game. We're just kind of sitting around waiting for uh, my infamy to go down a little maybe. I don't know, I don't really have a goal in mind. Time to start colonizing the Mediterranean. I didn't really want any of this territory, but I'm taking it anyway, too bad. So I founded the Suez Canal, but I wonder if I'm still gonna get the event that allows me to annex Egypt. I would really appreciate that would make my borders look better, but I think the game is out to get me today, so it probably won't happen. I would go up to two Sicilies and harass them for some territory, as uh, the Maghreb has typically done within history. However, uh, they have 91 ships. 91 ships! Spain declared war on me? Mm-hmm. You're gonna regret that one, Spain. You only have one friend, and it's Mother Russia, and they are very far away from us. The reverse reconquista continues. My Andalusia, my, oh wait, this is Andalusia. This is Valencia. My territory, not yours, Spain. Looks like the Spanish don't like how uh, we've reinvaded the bottom part of their country because they're rising up in massive quantities. But uh, yeah, I think that um, this is mine now. I was gonna say something witty or funny there, but I could not come up with anything. Oh man, I'm losing my mind. Kingdom of America. Is this what happens when Mexico wins the Mexican-American War? America goes crazy and becomes communist, but also monarchist at the same time? What? And they invaded Cuba. Why not? I swear, Victoria 2 is just thinking, ugh, this guy has played so many freaking games. We gotta give him something new. And then they pull out the Kingdom of America and expect me to think that that's realistic. Spain is coming at me with yet another war to get their territory back. They should know better. This time they called in the North Germans. What are you gonna do over there, champ? Nothing. 260 brigades and I will see zero of them. So I wanna claim territory here, like uh, in the Sahara, but it won't let me do it because we can't colonize because we haven't researched any of the things we need to research but I'm pretty sure we have all the prerequisites in all of the categories. Like, what the heck? Why can we not research this stuff? No great powers have colonial negotiations. So what, D did everybody just decide as a group that they weren't going to colonize this game? Is that what happened? This has been the buggiest game of Victoria 2 I have ever played. Between the puppeting of every single state in the world and the fact that nobody has done any colonization 
or any conquest at all, North German Confederation has not formed Germany and Italy has not formed. I don't even know what to say at this point. It's just been an insane experience. And it's not like the AI is disabled. The AI is clearly making moves like this war against me for Spain back. I guess the AI just could not handle Maghreb becoming a great power and then it gave up and shot itself in the foot. Portugal has just come and clutched this war, taken out all the German troops and Ruttenberg fighting Germany as well. Amazing. I love it when my allies do things in this game. Why would Germany not accept this offer? I mean, seriously, 55 war score over 37 demanded? Germany, you're brain dead. Thank you very much. Spain didn't take this decision to build a railroad at the beginning of the game. So we're gonna unlock the technology experimental railroad in the year 1921. Spain, what were you doing? I've had that technology for years. I think that I know what has happened. I don't think we can invent things anymore. You see how all this stuff is gray? Gas attack. I've had this tech for 10 years, military directionism. I'm not able to invent gas attack. Uh, what else am I looking at? Ironclads. I've had this research for, at this point, about 10 years, and I still cannot create ironclads. I built up all my ports to build a navy, but no, we're not allowed to do that. I think it all got messed up when I did that release and puppet nation war goal against the French, and since then, it's just all been gone, broken. Okay, I still do want to increase my empire, so we're gonna do something I never thought I would do. We're gonna build a navy of thousands and thousands and thousands of torpedo boats slash commerce raiders. But my theory is wrong because we're still inventing some of this stuff. What did I do? I, I don't understand. Independence for Greece? No. Why do they even give you those events? Like seriously, I don't think I've ever given anybody independence ever in Victoria 2. Time for another war against a European power, this time Greece, uh, just so I can continue invading. I was wondering for a second why I got the state with Athens in it and not this state in the south. But then I remembered, the Ottomans at some point owned all of this and had forced the capital of Greece all the way down here to the south part. So I guess I own Athens now. This is really giving me uh, reminders of my game where I played as Rome and collected a bunch of weird stuff just like this. Speaking of the time I played Rome, that is only available if you go to the SGT VODs channel. There will be a link in the description. Please subscribe to the SGT VODs channel. You can see the recordings of all the streams I've ever done. And yeah, that'll be a great thing. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Thank you so much. What else can we take? Well, we can also take Sardinia um, with a minor conquest, Cassius Belli. I'm a little worried about my navy in regards to theirs. My navy consists of 66 torpedo boats, plus these torpedo boats that can't get in because of Gibraltar, and these torpedo boats that I haven't stacked in the fleet yet. Uh, it's a jank navy, but we can go up against Sardinia, hopefully. And there we go. We have annexed Sardinia. I don't know if any nations of the Maghreb ever owned Sardinia, but we do now. And uh, I have another target in mind. It is time to finish the Crusades by taking the Roman capital. Morocco slash, what are we? The Maghreb will reign supreme forever. And we even have our ally within Europe helping us take out the Papal States. Thank you, Sardinia Piedmont. Although I don't know why they're named Sardinia Piedmont. They haven't owned Sardinia for decades. Yes, there we go. We have ended the Crusades by taking Rome for ourselves. Victory is ours. I'm so happy. That's basically it. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. It was absolutely wild. We still have pretty much most of the world speared. So it was a lot of fun and a wacky, wacky game. I'll point to the Kingdom of America if you want to know why it was wacky. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode of Victoria 2 A to Z. More episodes of Victoria 2 A to Z are coming soon, hopefully. And yeah, I will see you in the next episode. This time, it's actually the Mughal Empire who somehow managed to survive this long. Thanks for watching. Bye.